Hi, here I am in the survey terrain at Wintec, an area where we do practical with survey students. And I'm standing on a stockpile that I get my students to measure up and determine the volume of from time to time. Here I am performing a helix manoeuvre with my Magic Mini drone and it gives a pretty good representation of what the stockpile looks like. Things to do in a Bunnings hat, episode 9. Request TikToks for birthdays, wedding anniversaries, or special occasions of any sort. Get on down to Bunnings, get yourself a hat. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Pi. Well, what sort of day have you had? Well, here's a little bit about my day. So into work reasonably early and got stuck into some preparation for my maths class in the afternoon and some of the surveying that I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. So um, that was pretty good. And uh, then I went out and just did a few um, drone shots and things that you can see in the TikTok at the front. I've done two TikToks today. One was the the stockpile uh, one where I was able to do a helix which needs quite a bit of room um, as it goes right around so you've got to be a bit careful and then the other one was my um, Bunnings hat episode 9 where I'm going to be doing some um, I'll do requests if people want to wish someone a happy birthday or something like that I can do a request TikTok so if that's a bit of you, um, I'm your man for that. I'll give it, do it, give it my best shot, and we'll see what comes out. Um, so yeah, and then I had we had our maths from three to five, and then I basically come on home. I sort of had, did quite a bit of walking today, so I didn't feel the need to get too much exercise done. So while I did want to mow the lawn, I decided against it, and I've been done quite a few little drone things over the last few days so I've got quite a lot of footage that I'd like to use so what I've got here is this is um, some footage from Glenn Massey uh, which I did um, on Sunday I think and just it's a nice little bit of bush with a windy road which um, I think uh, might be interesting for some you've just seen a motorbike go past there and a trailer load of hay which is a uh, it's very dry at the moment, so a lot of farmers are feeding out to stock and what have you. So hay is probably at a premium at the moment. So, yeah, so just a lovely little um, drive through here, windy road. Uh, quite a lot of people go there, through there on motorbikes and, and what have you. So um, it's just a, the bush is mostly around the road. There's a little area down the road from there they call the train smash where... Um, there used to be a train that uh, took the coal through this uh, gorge into Narawahia and it, it crashed into the river and apparently it's still there but, and there's a bit of a swimming hole associated with it. So yeah, nice little um, bit of area there. And here's the diary to tell us the story of the day by numbers. 6,754 steps were taken. And uh, my th what lies ahead, um, yes, it, these are very interesting times. And it's very difficult to know uh, what does lie ahead just at the moment as uh, we things uh, settle down. My little thumbnail there is a little gap in the hedge that I actually helped to um, create, I guess, in the sense that I kept breaking off bits of leaves and things so that it stayed open. And um, I'm looking through that framing the photograph. So we've got a where over at uh, where, what, who, and number 533, and a new subscriber, Benny Mods, who's going to be hosting uh, Larry the Lamb. And I've just found out that Larry the Lamb was actually a show in 1950s Britain, and um, uh, Izzy and Imo and Izzy's uh, mum, um, really liked Larry the Lamb and, pro and apparently does a very good impersonation of Larry the Lamb who is, um, according to Mo, is uh, very bleaty 
um, which sort of describes, from what I could hear, the best description. So, yes, um, more investigation of Larry the Lamb. Now, with the TikToks, um, very, not very slow day today, and only 188 in my best uh, TikTok um, that I've got there. So, um, I don't know whether my uh, magic is wearing off, or it's a bad day, or I've just... Um, Going to have to change things up again to get the numbers. But uh, yeah, seven hours of prep and a couple of hours of um, teaching in the maths there. And 83.5 on the uh, weight front, which, uh, well, yeah, not good, but uh, manageable. And in today's challenge, if you know which Baroque-style attraction might you expect to visit in Trevi in Rome, put that answer in the comments below the video. Or just allude to the answer. So yesterday, Moz uh, alluded to the answer in his, uh, in his, uh, in his comments. Whereas uh, Leo, uh, sometime later... Um, mentioned it directly so in this instance it's moz 42 who takes the spot on the hall of fame i must say that this is a system that has evolved over time with the vlog and uh, moz is a, a long time commentator um is is uh, sort of a bit of an expert at this alluding to the answer without actually directly saying it and uh, it could be confusing for some viewers. However, over time, um, you will get used to it, I'm sure. So, uh, yes, uh, an honourable mention there for Leo, but uh, Moz was certainly in quick with mention of uh, the Toyota story that he um, spun there. So, uh, well, that brings us to the end of today's vlog, and thanks to everybody for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Certainly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you whenever you're free, willing and able to drop by. You're always welcome. All good. Cheers. Fuel legit. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.